most people who take PDs, most people who take PDs don't look like they take anything. Coach Greg, and today we're going to be going over Chris Bumstead's natty or not photo of when he says he was natty. Is he actually natty in the photo? I'm going to let you know what I think. I'm going to go over the comments that were made. I actually, I posted his photo on my Instagram wall. And as of right now, there's over 700 comments. People don't know what to think. Was he natural? Was he enhanced at this age? I mean, frankly, when I first looked at his photo, I was like, Oh my goodness, is he, was he actually natural at this age? And then I took a further look and I said, yep, he's actually natural. I'm going to go over the comments. We're going to talk about it. Before I get into that, I've read a lot of comments, a lot of haters. We call them mosquitoes. And they think that I wasn't actually natural when I was natural. So what I'm hoping for, what I'm asking for is Derek from Plates for Dates to do a natty or not on any and all of the photos that I've been posting on my Instagram. I have the before and afters. I have the look when I was natural and all this stuff. And I'm hoping he'll do a natty or not on me. Also, I want Philly on to do the same thing. I would tell them to do a natty or not on me right now, but we all know I'm not natural. I'm on HRT. Another thing, HRT literally can travel through time, okay? I've asked HRT to look ahead in the future, look at the videos that Derek does, and come back in time and tell me that way I have enough time to get really good content, okay? That's how I've managed to get 900,000 followers. I've traveled through time, watched all of Derek's videos, and then I copied all of them. It's amazing. Maybe if Derek gets on HRT, he could ask his HRT to travel through time and watch my videos and copy them. Then we could all copy each other and get the algorithm algorithmized to be even better than last time. So first of all, Chris bumps it in this photo. He does have slightly puffy nipples, but no evidence of actual gyno, just a little bit of puffiness. It doesn't actually mean he's got gyno. It's not like he's got a tremendous amount of acne, gyno, and face swelling and all the different signs of steroid use. The only sign of anabolics he has is he has more muscles than 99.9% .9 of people his age. But listen, people. He's the Mr. Frigging Olympia. Don't you think the Mr. Olympia would have excessively good genetics and be able to build a shit ton of muscle while being natural? I've said this a hundred times in the past. Chris Bumstead with no PDs, as in 100% natural, would still be an IFBB pro and still be winning IFBB pro shows and still be in the Olympia. I don't think he could actually win the Mr. Olympia, but as a black natural athlete, y'all know Chris is a black natural athlete. I think he could still place potentially in the top 10, even while natural. I know it sounds crazy, but his genetics are just that good. Okay, 99% of people with every steroid in the world could not even look as good as Chris when he's natural as a teenager. Sorry, that's just the truth. It's just how it works. Have you seen Chris Bumstead at his first show? He looks night and day better than he does here playing volleyball. He was not natural for his first show. I was literally coaching his coach, Ian Valera, at the time. He sent me photos of Chris, and I was like, who in the heck is this kid? Has anyone ever heard of Regan Grimes? I sure had. Regan Grimes, we all knew was going to be something special. Then here comes an unknown, Chris Bumstead, who literally beats Regan Grimes, who is phenomenal. And those of you who don't know, Regan Grimes is in the open class Mr. Olympia. Chris was beating him back then. That is how good this guy's genetics are, okay? It's not normal. One in billions, okay? Seven or eight billion people on this earth won Mr. Olympia Classic Physique Champion with perfect stores and has set a new standard for Classic Physique. His sister also competed in the Olympia. Brother and sister, they come from the same parents. They share the same type of genetics. Both siblings were in the Mr. Olympia. Do you not... Does that not show just how good their genetics are? Both siblings, both made it to the Olympia. Oh no, it's not, it's not the genetics, it's the drugs. Anyone that takes enough drugs could look like that. No, 
Most people could take every single drug in the world at every single dose and train harder than last time with the best coach in the world and never look like either of them. You need amazing genetics. I keep talking all the time about how amazing my genetics are. Chris's are way better than mine. And you're like, oh, you're a man. You're five foot six. How could you ever say you have good genetics? I'm an IFBB freaking pro. Every single pro has amazing genetics. You cannot get an IPB pro card with average genetics. Average genetics and every drug in the world will not turn you pro. So when you try to discredit any pro's hard work by saying, oh yeah, but it's the drugs. That is stupid. If you have shitty genetics in every drug in the world and train your ass off, you're not going to look great. You look all right, but not amazing. I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. What you want to hear is that if you take enough drugs, you're going to look phenomenal. You'll be shredded. You'll have the six pack and a dream body. Not going to do that for you. Sure, it will help. Of course, it's going to help, but it's not going to get you your dream physique. You need, it's a requirement, need, necessary to have the good genetics. Amazing genetics, plus the training and the PDs, then you're in the Olympia. That's just how it works. So let's read some of the comments. Natty Seabum looks like an IPB pro. Well, no, in this photo, he doesn't look like a pro. He looks fantastic, but he certainly doesn't look like a pro. However, I do think that in his first competition as a novice athlete, although he wasn't natural, he could have got his IPB pro card for classic physique. However, I do think that Chris, as a black natural athlete, would have got his IPB pro card and competed in the Olympia had he remained natural. Not natty in this pick, coach. Come on. You see, people, they don't believe it. They see somebody with an amazing physique and automatically assume that they're not natural. So people, do you know how hard it is to do natty or not some people? It's easy when it's mind-blowingly amazing, the physique. When the physique is just so good that no one could ever get there natural. Easy to say, not natural. But most people who take PDs, most people who take PDs, don't look like they take anything. So, sorry, I mean, I know you don't believe it. So if you do it, if I went to the gym right now and looked around the room and every single person in that room were drug tested and then the results came in, you would be shocked. Shocked at how bad the physiques look who are on PDs. Most people who take PDs don't look like they work out. You're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, of course it makes sense. Most people take PDs or taking them because they want to look good. They want to go from looking like poop to looking like less poop. They want to look average or okay. They take fat burners, SARM, steroids, whatever, so that when they take their shirt off, they look like, nah, you work out, and you look not too bad. They go from not looking good at all, I'm not taking my shirt off, I don't like my body, I'm uncomfortable, I hate my body, to... I'm going to take something so that I don't hate my body anymore. I just want to look average. I just want to fit in. I just want to go to the beach with my friends and not be made fun of. That is what most people use steroids or SARMs, PDs for. I'm going to say that one more time. Most people who take performance enhancing drugs do so just so that they can look average. It is not a bunch of competitors who already look like phenoms who want to win the Mr. Olympia. Most people who take SARMs and steroids are not competitors. A lot of people say, oh, it's, you know, it's okay for competitors to take it, but I don't compete, so why would I take PDs? Over 90% of the people that take PDs don't compete. Dude, he had a suspicious gyno. He has a little bit of puffy nipples. That is not suspicious gyno. Gyno is a hard lump formation under the nipple. Have you seen Chris in the Olympia this year? Does he look like he has gynecomastia? I am not aware of Chris ever having had surgery to remove gyno. So if he had, in fact, gyno at 18, 19 years of age, where did it go? It's a hard lump. You can't magically remove gyno by taking a pill like Femra, Letrozole, Nova, Clomid, all those things. You cannot. Once you have gyno, it's there for life unless you get surgery, okay? No way was he natty. See what I mean? As soon as you post a picture where somebody looks phenomenal, there's no way that they're natural. That's just how people think. But this is Chris Bumps. This is the Mr. Olympia. Every single person in the Olympia, even without PDs, would still look not natty.
What this means is that if Filion did a natty or not on any competitor in the Olympia, had they had never gone on PDs in the first place, he would say that every single one of them is a fake natty. Because as soon as you see someone that's that freakish, you assume they're not natural. But that's not the case. There's people in this world with genetics that are so good that even the people who take PDs don't look as good as these naturals. The thing is the best physiques in the world have both amazing mind-blowing genetics and PDs and that's why they're in the Olympia. There is no way in hell this is natural bro, come on. This guy is tall too. Still time to take this post down, lol. So a lot of people think that taller people can't build muscle. It's clearly ridiculous. Chris is about six foot one inches tall and has a ton of muscle. It's not only manlets like myself that can build a lot of muscle. He has gyno in that picture on both sides. It's funny who people say genetics, but taking two grams of roids and growth hormone insulin if I would take that stuff. I would explode 20 kilogram stage gains in the first year easy. There it is. That is the common belief, right girls get in? It's the common belief. If I just blasted two grams of steroids, mind you, I've done way more than two grams. Two grams is a moderate dose for most people competing. Two grams is not that much. If it's your first cycle, it's way too much. But if you've been abusing steroids for several years and you're an IB pro, Chances are you're taking more than two grams. Let's just be honest, but you're not gonna put 20 kilograms of muscle in a year just from doing that. That's 44 pounds of muscle. If steroids were that effective, why is it that every single person in the gym who takes steroids doesn't gain 44 pounds of muscle? You take any physique out there, the worst physique you can think of, a person that doesn't even work out and you slap on 44 pounds of muscle onto that body, that is a competitive bodybuilder. Not a pro, but a competitive bodybuilder. My first show I competed in the 140s. In my last show I competed at 185. That means that in my entire life of competing, I only put on those 45 pounds of muscle. This guy's saying in one year I'd put on 44 pounds of muscle. That's how much I put on in my whole life. And I have really good genetics. That is my lifetime of games from my first show to my last one. You sure that you're going to put on that much muscle? Probably not. With a lot of respect to you, Coach Greg, anyone can say that he wasn't natty in this pick. By the way, I don't mind who's natty or being on roid. It's all about hard work. You see what I mean? Like, it's not that they're haters. They just don't believe it because they don't know what's physically possible without steroids. And see, the problem is there's not enough people like me, and yeah, I'm going to say it like me, who competed natural for years to show what can be achieved natural. Most people who compete go on steroids right away. Chris is one of those people. He competed and he was on steroids for his first competition. He didn't compete for 10 years natural. I did 42 bodybuilding shows natural before I got enhanced. Why do you think it took me so long to build muscle? Why do you think I was only putting on three pounds of muscle a year? Okay, yeah, I was doing triathlons and it slowed down the speed of my muscle growth. But still, if I had taken steroids in my early years, like 18, 19, 20, 20, well, whatever, you would have seen me gain 15 pounds in that first year somewhere. Somewhere along the lines, I would have put on 15 pounds of muscle. You don't take steroids and gain three pounds of muscle a year. It doesn't make sense. If you think about it logically, if I were on steroids in my teens or 20, whatever, I would have suddenly got amazing. I would have went from, yeah, you're pretty good to, wow, you wrought really, really good here. Uh, what did you do? You would have seen it. How do you know he was natty then? Definitely doesn't look like it. So you understand that Chris himself posted this picture and said, here is a picture of me when I was natural. I'm taking his word for it because Chris doesn't strike me as a liar. I see no financial incentive for him to lie. Somebody asked him, hey, put a picture of when you were natural. He could have shown a picture of when he was 12 if he wanted to. Could have shown a picture when he was 16. He could have shown any picture. He chose to show this one, him playing beach volleyball. It's not like he claims he's a black natural athlete. And those of you that don't know why I'm saying this, you need to watch more of my videos. 
Greg, can you have good strength genetics? Absolutely. Just like you can have good genetics to build muscle or have a good physique, you can have good strength genetics. I had clearly amazing strength genetics. And yeah, write in the comment section, I'm a narcissist. And what are also what are some other negative things you could say about me? Yeah, I have amazing strength genetics. A narcissist, Greg, because he has confidence though. Why do I say that? Because I broke the friggin' world record in the bench press and the Guinness record in the deadlift. You cannot break world records just by taking a lot of drugs and training harder than last time. You need amazing genetics plus the hard training plus the PDs to do that, okay? You're not breaking world freaking records as a natural athlete with shitty genetics to just think about it. And I'm glad that not all the people in the comment section are morons, okay? This is somebody who gets it. Let me read this one. LOL, for people that didn't believe his natural. Come on, this is Mr. Olympia champ level. How could you not believe that he's not natural? He's a freak. 0.00005% genetics. It's not surprising that he looked like this. And don't forget, this is in his early age, which clearly he is still yet to be in his full potential. He's still having more time to grow and he already looking like this. Stop being salty. His genetics are out of this world. Even the last place in Olympia still have world-class genetics. Seriously, people, really underestimate of what godlike genetic like. I mean, frankly, I think that this is a secret account and I wrote it because that's how I write. Is this guy fake, Coach Greg? Who is this guy? Nyong.kabot. Nyong.kabot, you talk just like me and you grammar like me. Greg's natty or not credibility been going down a lot lately. You know what's so funny about that? Is all people want me to do is post pictures of freaks and say they're not natural. Oh, Coach Greg, you're amazing. You called out the fake natties. Anyone with an amazing physique, you just want me to write, they're not natural. That's what Philion does. It takes a lot more work to post a picture of somebody who doesn't look amazing and say they're not natural than to post freaking Ronnie Coleman and say, look, he's not natural. Listen, Chris Bum said himself, posted this picture saying he's natural in it. What do you want me to say? I believe him. If you think that makes me a bad judge of Natty or not, then stop watching my Natty or Nots. I got a lot of other videos. Stop watching my Natty or Nots. Watch my educational informative videos. I got lots of those too, you know. And I'm going to end it with this comment. Watch more plates, more dates, vid on this. Who are you going to believe? Chris Bumstead and his coach Ian Valera? Coach Greg and Derek from Plates for Dates? Or a bunch of morons in the comment section that just want to envision that anybody that takes steroids looks amazing. Are the morons right this time or is Coach Greg wrong? And please, every one of you, write Derek from Plates for Dates and Philion. Tell them natty or not on Coach Greg's pictures on his Instagram when he says he's natural. Any and all, any or all of those pictures, do freaking natty or not. I want to see what they think. What do they think? What's their expert opinion going to be? Can't wait to see. At least one of the two will do video. I'm sure of it. And in it here, gregdusset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IB Pro. Blooping up the two videos. Be sure to watch one of those. Subscribe to my newsletter and probably buy my freaking cookbook and the trading book. And until next time, I'm out. Or a bunch of... <laughs> or what?